Peace everyone, happy new moon. This is Misty Moon, your holistic health practitioner, health coach and yoga instructor. And every new moon and every full moon, I'm always happy to bring to you a new vegan recipe for you to integrate into your life for ultimate health, wellness and happiness. All right, and today we're going to be making Thai raw tacos, okay? So let's uh, get introduced to our cast, why don't we? So we're gonna start off with our romaine lettuce. So we're gonna use the romaine lettuce as the shell for the taco. And you wanna make sure that you get nice thick leaves because the larger they are, the more that you can stuff them with, okay? And then we're gonna stuff them with um, a red cabbage. And then I had some romaine lettuce left over from the shell, so I chopped that up and added it to the red cabbage. And we also have some lime here that we're gonna season it up with. All right, and then we're also going to use red onion and garlic as the topping. And then we also have cilantro and avocado. And then we're gonna sprinkle some uh, sliced almonds on top. And then, you know me, I think that everything, it all comes down to the sauce. So the sauce is what's gonna make it a Thai, uh, give it a Thai flavor. And we're gonna be using coconut milk, almond butter, bags of acid, and agave nectar, okay? And a little um, powdered uh, ground ginger, all right? So just to really quickly go into the benefits of these ingredients. So with the red cabbage, the red cabbage, it prevents cancer, it's anti-aging, it helps with weight loss, it helps with eye care, it also treats, uh, it also treats ulcers, it helps boost the immune system and protect from um, arthritis disease, all right? So that's all in the red cabbage. And then for our cilantro, uh, it uh, rids the body of heavy metals. It protects against um, uh, oxidative stress. It lowers anxiety and improves sleep. That's from cilantro, can you believe that? Um, it lowers blood sugar and it protects, protects against uh, cardiovascular disease, all righty? And then our red onion, it fights against infections. Uh, it dissolves blood clots, which is incredible. Um, it improves lung function and it helps detoxify the body as well. And then also we have our garlic, which supports the immune system. It fights infections. It cleanses the blood, as we know. Uh, it boosts the digestion and it also reduces hypertension. I just learned that today. I think that's pretty incredible as well. Food for medicine. I mean, the creator gave us everything that we need. Um, and the last two, uh, limes. So limes alkalize, uh, alkalizes the blood. Um, if you're feeling, if you feel like you're the type of person that's running high acidic because you're um, uh, consuming a lot of processed food, if you can get a key lime and just put that in a jug of water and drink that every day, immediately that will balance out your pH, okay? So lime is in this ingredient, or it's in this recipe. Limes also relieves constipation it helps with, with the respiratory system, and it also prevents gum bleeding, okay? And then finally, our beloved avocados. Uh, they help with blood pressure, they help the skin, uh, they actually prevent bad breath, that's something new that I learned as well, and it protects the liver from tissue damage. Another thing too about avocados, besides the fact that it is a good fat, it's also a lubricant as well for your digestive system, okay? so. The beauty about eating raw food and even vegan is that it's food, it's uh, using food as medicine. It's delicious, it's enjoyable to eat, but it's also nourishing your body, okay? And that's why I like to share with you the ingredients with what we're making. So let's start off by making our sauce, all right? So food processor is a vegan and raw food is best friend. Uh, it's anyone's best friend, especially if you like to make sauces and purees and juices and nut butters. Um, if you don't have a food processor, of course, um, um, a blender will work just as well, okay? So here we go. We're gonna start off with the entire can of coconut milk because I'm gonna make enough sauce that's gonna last me for the entire week. I'm currently doing um, a detox right now, um, and so I have everything pre-ready to go for the week. So here we go. We've got our coconut milk. Right. And then we have, I have two tablespoons of ground ginger. 
And then I'm going to put about this here. So this is bragged amino acid. Um, this recipe traditionally calls for soy sauce, but I'm going to substitute with bragged amino acid. And so I'm going to put about one tablespoon in there. And of course, you can always adjust it to your own preference or taste. And then we're going to use almond butter. And I'm going to just uh, put about two big tablespoons in there. And then I'm going to adjust it according to taste. Right, and then to make it a little sweet, I'm going to use a tablespoon of agave nectar. All right, so let's blend this up and see how it goes. All right, here we go. It's going to be a little noisy. sauce, you want it to be a little bit on the thick side. Let's see here. So I'm going to add, I'm going to try it out first. Mm. It's actually not bad, but I'm going to add a little bit more almond milk to it. I'm sorry, almond butter. And a little bit more agave nectar as well. I want it to be a little thick. Okay. Nectar. So, so far that's been two tablespoons and a half of the agave nectar. Make sure my laptop doesn't freeze on me. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, this is it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour this into my mason jar. Mason jars are an amazing investment to have. You can do so much with this. You can make your kim cheese. You can store your sauces. Um, I have I always have a lot of liquids to go with me, so I pretty much put all my liquids that I take to work with me in mason jars. Okay. This is a little bit more on the liquidy side as far as the consistency, but the flavoring is perfect. Okay, so I'm going to have that on the side. Okay, so now this is the fun part. So before we start stuffing our tacos, I'm going to take these four limes. Um, it's actually two limes I cut in half, and I'm going to squeeze them into my, my red cabbage and romaine lettuce just to give it a little flavor. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna mix this up. Okay, and here we go. This whole entire process should take like no more than 20 minutes. Okay, so let's go ahead and stuff our tacos. And you'll be amazed of how fulfilling this meal is. Like whenever I make this for myself, I do about four tacos and I'm good to go. Okay. Taco. Just be nice and organized. Here we go. Okay. Make sure we get all that in there. So this is the red cabbage and romaine lettuce. Put that aside. 
And then the next thing I'm going to do is add the red, red onion and the garlic. And of course, you do this according to taste. I personally like a lot of garlic and a lot of red onion. And I recommend red onion over um, yellow or white onion because red onion seems to taste better raw. It also has like a slight sweet, sweet taste to it as well. Okay, put that there. And then I'm going to add my cilantro. But before I do that, I'm going to put just a little salt because I have the avocado in here as well. Now, I don't know if you know about this, but the secret to avocado, to bringing out the flavor, is just putting a dash of salt on top of the avocado. It doesn't take much, and it's a huge difference. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, uh, I didn't bring it up before because I'm just going to use a spoon here. I'm just going to go ahead and apply my avocado to my taco. Make sure my laptop doesn't freeze on me. And finally, not quite finally, we got two more steps. See how large these tacos are? And all, it's all raw. <laughs> it's going to be so delicious. All right, so we're going to top it off with our cilantro. I may not even eat all these now. I may get through two of these. Let's see. All right, cilantro. Okay, and I'll show this to you when I'm done here. All right. All right, okay, and then, now I'm gonna put my sauce on here. This is where my aprons come into handy. All right, okay, so I'm gonna put a little sauce on each taco. Add as much as you like. Just put a little more. Okay, last one. Okay, and then finally, just put one more little dab on that one. All right, and then we're going to top it off completely with the sliced almonds. Oh, this looks so beautiful. Wow. You should call these medicinal Thai, thai tacos. And these are most of these ingredients, I would say 80% of the ingredients I have here are all from Trader Joe's. Okay, voila, we have our raw tacos. Maybe if I pick one up for you so you can have a better idea. All right, here you go, raw taco. If you can see that there. Let me get too close to the laptop. Ah, <laughs> it's a little messy. But yeah, all right here, all delights, medicinal in each bite. Okay, all right, so this is a fun one. And this is really more of a summertime type of recipe. But um, since I'm doing this raw detox right now, I wanted, this is just what I'm eating, so I wanted to share this with you now. So give this a shot. And I'll be curious to know what, what you think. If you're trying any of my recipes, feel free to leave a comment. If you're watching this on my uh, Misty Moon fan page or my YouTube page, feel free to dialogue with me. Let me know how these recipes are working out for you. So anyway, happy new moon. Enjoy your Thai raw tacos. Peace and love. And I look forward to seeing you all at the next full moon. All right. Take care. Peace. Love. Light. Health. <laughs>